Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, please leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you see in my comment section with a picture of me and a variation of my name. Please know that that garbage is not me. That is a scammer. If you don't see the little check mark beside my name, it is not me. <clears throat> we the people. If you want your comments put over on the We the People website, please start by saying We the People so we can find it easier and we will take it over there for you. Please check out the We the People website and the We the People Facebook group. Both links are in the description box below this video. Y'all, if you didn't see yesterday's video, please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good stuff in there I don't want you to miss and it would help me out on YouTube. Thank you so much. Okay, y'all. Y'all, we all, and that includes me also, we blame the Democrats for everything that's happening right now. But let's think just for a little bit. What has the Republicans done to help us? The Republicans hadn't done too much to help us either. Uh, if you can think of anything, please put it in the comments below. Now, they... I mean, I don't know of too much they've done, and I don't know of anything that the Democrats has done. But y'all, we all say that in the midterms, we're going to vote the Democrats out of office. Let's think about that just for a minute. Yes, we do need to vote everyone that's in office out in the midterms that we can. And that's Democrats and Republicans alike. But we need to ask ourselves, before we go to too much extremes on this, what does the Republican stand for? I mean, we don't know what they're standing for right now. We don't know what they want to do because they're not saying anything. They're sitting back and letting the Democrats really mess up royally. What does the Republicans plan to do with our future they hadn't said they hadn't told us what they were wanting to do they hadn't put forth any kind of guidelines to let us know what they've got planned will the republicans help the american people that we don't know because again we don't know what they stand for we need to get on the phone and write letters and demand that they come out and start talking about what they have in mind, what they want to do. That way we will know clearly who to vote for and who to vote out. <clears throat> All of this stuff that we don't know, but we need to start asking these questions about, I mean, if we just go in and vote blindly, I mean, and vote straight Republicans, we may be making the problem worse. If we go in and vote straight Democrats, we will definitely be making the problem worse. But we need to know these answers, and now is the time to demand these answers. We know what the Democrats are about. They're not about much at all, but getting what they want for their rich friends and padding their own pocket. But again, Republicans, we don't know what they want because they're not talking. Y'all, we all know now that the CDC has said that uh, the mask, the face mask, don't work. The ones that we've been wearing, they don't work. The cloth mask and the little paper hospital type mask, they don't really work against this because of the droplets that still can get through them. They say nothing will work except the N95 and most likely the K95. And they're supposed to be making these available, but once they're available, the Omicron variant will be gone. So it will be too little, too late. Y'all, this is crazy what I'm about to tell you. I've seen a video where their suggestion, putting a panty liner inside your regular cloth filter that will make it more better 
How many of you guys out there wants to go around wearing a panty liner on your face? I don't, and I won't. How crazy can they get telling people to put panty liners on their face? Okay, now, on the child tax credit, I want to talk a little bit about the child tax credit. President, well, I made a mistake. He's not my president. He's y'all's president. Little Joe, he is still wanting this child tax credit passed. He's wanting it to be brought out and do as a standalone bill. But, again, he don't give a damn about the, the elderly or disabled. What about bringing something out and having a standalone bill for them? Y'all, this child tax credit is being used against us now. How is it being used against us? Well, he's fighting hard to get it done. He's securing the young family vote. He's buying their vote, and they're too dumb to understand that. I mean, the child tax credit... It can be passed as a standalone bill, but a lot of other things can be passed as a standalone bill too. And he's worrying about the child tax credit first. What about the people that needs it most? The elderly and the disabled, people on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. What about them people? He don't care about those people. But he is using it against us, buying their vote. So that means if you don't have children, you don't get help. So that also means if you don't have children, if you're single, don't have kids, if you're married, don't have kids, if you're elderly and don't have small kids, if you're disabled and don't have small kids, we have to get out and vote. We have to no matter what. If we have to go in a hospital bed, have somebody push us in a hospital bed to the voting poll, we have to vote because you better believe these young families are going to be voting because Biden has already bought their vote with the child tax credit. So we need to make our voices heard as well. Now, I'm not saying people that get the child tax credit is bad in any way. They need this money too, and it does help them. But what about everybody else? They need help too. Y'all, this next thing that I want to talk about, I know it's going to get me some hate. I know it's going to make some people mad at me, and I know I will lose subscribers. Much as I don't want that, I guess I'll have to be good with it, because you come here for the truth, right? So the truth is what you're going to get, the good, the bad, the ugly. Y'all, I see so many people on here saying that they don't have money for groceries, they don't have money to pay their bills, they don't have money to do this, they don't have money to do that that they're barely struggling and they think they'll just sit back and starve to death. But at the same time, I don't see a shortage of cell phones, cell phone connection. I don't see a shortage of computers. I don't see a shortage of internet connection. I don't see a shortage of people with cable TV. But they don't have money to buy groceries. Y'all, I'm not judging, but people need to put their priorities in order. If I had to make a choice between a cell phone or an internet connection or groceries, I would always choose groceries. So yes, I know people has it hard, people has it bad right now. But think about it. Is it as hard as you're portraying? I mean, priorities. If you can't afford to eat, that means you can't afford that cell phone. You can't afford internet connection. Now, like I said, I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but you want the truth, right? You come here for the truth. That is the truth. Y'all, if you're still here tomorrow, I'll be here tomorrow. But uh, if you want your comments put over on We The People... Please start by saying, we the people, we will take it over there for you. Please check out the We the People website and the We the People Facebook group. Both links are in the description box below this video. In order to get in the Facebook group, you do have to answer one question. And it's a simple yes or no question. And that's all we want. Just the two words, yes or no. Uh, and you will get in. 
Y'all, I love you all. I know the truth is not always what you want to hear, but it is what you need to hear. Y'all say a prayer for our world, say a prayer for our country, say a prayer for our leaders, that they will start leading, that they will start doing what's right for the American people. Please say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I do love you all. Until next time, ciao.